One of the neat things about a king tide is the low part of that tide. And when you're on a nice flat beach, suddenly you start to see all the minor undulations in that uh, what was formerly covered with water, now filled with little puddles and you start to see all the subtle ripple marks and really interesting sea patterns. So we're going to give you a little tour of some of them that appear here in Todos Santos, which is on the southwestern side of Baja California. The first pattern we see are the rill marks. These are usually lineations that are perpendicular to the shoreline. And this is where water and loose or fine material will flow directly into the ocean after it's been washed ashore. Sometimes uh, rivers or drainages from the mainland will also create these rill marks. And so they're characterized by ridges and some of the heavy minerals will deposit themselves at the bottom of the uh, rills. Now just further in and now in the water, we see some of the uh, what look like cellular patterns or uh, patterns that are parallel with the shoreline. And these are ripple marks. And they resemble a lot of the dune features that we see in deserts. So a lot of interesting patterns we can see here in these little puddles that form during the extreme low tides. Here's some more ripple marks, and these are asymmetric, where you have a steep side on the left of each of these little mounds and a shallow side on the right. And this depends on which way the water washes in uh, and, and deposits itself. Here's an example where extremely shallow slopes on the beach uh, can spread out the mineral deposits and basically you have flattened uh, ripple marks with some really interesting lineations and patterns. Here's an example of a shallow channel that fed one of the ponds but you can see some really nice interesting patterns here as well. combination of broken up rills as well as almost scalloped patterns. Now the stripy patterns are a reflection of the minerals that were in the original material that was broken up. And in the hillsides here we have a lot of uh, granitic rocks as well as volcanic rocks. And so the mineral assemblages especially the light and dark minerals, will have different weights as well as compositions. And these things will deposit uh, either earlier or later and create some really interesting patterns. And when I mean they deposit earlier or later, it depends on the velocity of the, the uh, water that is transporting them onto the beach. High-velocity water can transport heavier material a longer distance. 